Today, we're gonna to talk about five things that you can do to kickstart your real estate investing business. If you're a newbie, it's sometimes hard to decide where do I start? What should I start doing in my real estate investing business if I've never done this before? Number one, you want to connect with real estate agents in your market. How do you do this? This is easier than ever now, easier than ever. <laughs> real estate agents advertise on realtor.com. They advertise on Zillow. You can go into Facebook groups for real estate investment meetings in your area, and you can ask who are some investor-friendly real estate agents in the area, and you will have a whole bunch of people either recommending agents or agents reaching out to you. Why do you want to work with an investor friendly agent? Because you want them to bring you deals and show you bank owned properties and things that are on the market and ask them, do they have experience with bank owned properties? Would they be willing to meet you for lunch? Some agents are extremely busy and only work with homeowners. So they won't be willing to have lunch with you. Some agents work with investors, love building their investor list, and would love to have lunch with you. So reach out, especially in Facebook groups, real estate investment Facebook groups in your area, and start making a list of agents, what they specialize in, residential, commercial, land, mobile homes, what are they used to, and figure out what agents you wanna develop a relationship with moving forward. Number two, ask about renovation costs and find contractors. So that is number two. How do you find contractors and how do you know what things cost? People always contact me and say, April, how much is it gonna cost me to paint this house? Or how much is it gonna cost me to put flooring in here? I don't know, I can't tell you that. I don't work in your market, okay? So it's different in every single market. It all depends on your market. It depends if you're high-end renovating or rental level renovating. What kind of market are you in? What kind of renovation do you wanna do? But here's how you find out about renovation costs. Again, so easy. You're also gonna connect with contractors this way. You're gonna to go to your local real estate investment groups or doesn't even have to be real estate investment can just be community groups on Facebook and you're going to ask who is a great HVAC person in this county? Um, how much does it typically cost to replace a central air system in this area? What are you guys paying? What are you typically paying price per square foot to have a house painted? What are you typically pay paying for like a ranch home that's 1200 square feet for the roof to be replaced. Start asking questions about all the renovation costs you want to know about and who are the amazing contractors doing that work and start making an Excel spreadsheet. So number one, real estate agents. Number two, contractors and renovation costs. Don't be afraid to ask in community groups. Sometimes it's better to get it from the community than it is to get it from fellow real estate investors because some real estate investors don't work with the best contractors, okay? Number three, create a list of banks, investor-friendly banks that are doing cash out refinances and what are their terms. So you're gonna have a spreadsheet that has a tab for real estate agents, a spreadsheet for contractors, a, a tab for renovation costs, and a tab for banks, banks that you wanna work with. You are gonna start with small local community banks and credit unions because they have typically the best rates and terms and they like working with investors. You don't have to have a deal to talk to a bank. They can start looking at your debt to income ratio, your credit score, and you can tell them, hey, say I buy a property for 70,000 and I'm gonna buy it cash because you're gonna buy it with private money, and fix it all up, put a great tenant in it, and it appraises at 150. What do your cash out refinance terms look like on a property around the $150,000 price point? If you're in a higher price point, ask about higher price point properties, okay? You want to know interest rate and terms. So is it a 
7% interest rate, a 4% interest rate, a 20-year amortization, a 30-year amortization, a five-year balloon, a 10-year balloon. Is your interest rate fixed? Do they like working with investors? Can they recommend banks that do like working with investors? So start making a tab in your spreadsheet with all your small local community banks and credit unions. So realtors, contractors and renovation costs, banks that you wanna work with, private money lenders and hard money lenders. Where can you find private money and hard money? You are going to post in local real estate investment groups and say, hey, has anybody successfully worked with a local hard money lender or a national hard money lender on any deals that they've done? Hard money lenders lend to people they don't know. Some private money lenders do too, but it takes a little bit to get your foot in the door. So it's easier to start with hard money lenders. Start making a list of reputable hard money lenders that people have worked with before. I also want you to go to real estate investment meetups in your area consistently because there are always private money lenders there. How do I know that? Because I am one and we're always out looking for new borrowers, okay? We want to connect with them. Private money lenders like to meet you face to face and get to know you and hear about your business. So start going to real estate investment meetups and start asking in local real estate groups on Facebook, okay? So what do we cover so far? We're only at number four, realtors, contractors and rehab costs, banks and private money lenders, hard money lenders, number five and final title companies, real estate friendly, real estate investor friendly title companies. You guys know what I'm gonna say? Post in a real estate investment group on Facebook or just Google search local title companies or local attorneys, depending if you're in a state that closes with attorneys and ask, are you working with investors? Do you close cash deals with private money? Do you have experience with this? There are title companies out there that love investors. That's like strictly what they work with are investors. So start Googling, making some phone calls. You don't necessarily have to talk to the title agent, but you eventually want to connect with them. But the secretary at the desk might even be able to tell you if they work with investors. So start building your team is essentially what I'm saying. So a good start is uh, real estate agents, private money lenders, hard money lenders, construction and rehab costs, title companies, and banks in your area. Start with that. That will give you a good jump start to your real estate investing business. Put it all on a spreadsheet, update it, take people off that you don't want to work with them anymore, and then add people that are going to be good for you to work with as you're out there at real estate meetings, networking, getting to know more people. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Click like, subscribe, share it with someone that you think will find this video beneficial. Leave me a comment below, send me your questions on Instagram or drop them below for other videos that you want to see.